Emilio Vasquez is considered to be the Chicano artist, or should I say, the godfather of Chicano art in Orange County. Uh, we are standing here in front of his mural, the one that he had uh, developed for his master's degree from Cal State University Fullerton in 1979. The title of the mural is The Proletariat of Aslan. And uh, what that means is the workers of the Southwest. This version that you see here is the um, redone version by his son, Higgy Vasquez. Emilio Vasquez was born in Jerome, Arizona, but he moved over here and uh, he lived here in this community. And he grew up in this community here on Cypress Street. Since he was a young man or young boy, he would paint, he would draw. One of the first murals is that he did a, a mural in his backyard, in the patio. Uh, he would always uh, be drawing and always uh, doing artwork. Uh, he has uh, worked, uh, he had graduated from the high school modern day, and he went on to Cal State University Fullerton to earn a bachelor's degree in fine arts and a master's degree in fine arts. In this mural, he started with the indigenous people. Uh, he worked on, if you look at the historical, because it is a very historical mural, you see some of the Mexicanos, and then you see some of the, uh, the rancheros, and uh, also the campesinos. The campesino is a farm worker. And then he also shows the women who were involved in the, uh, uh, compass, with the campesinos, something that is not shown in a lot of the murals and artwork uh, of today, uh, and how hard they worked with the, uh, in the fields. He was from Jerome, which is a mining town. So you see a miner, you see a, a, a train, like a guy was working on a train. Uh, Miguel was a community person. He liked working with the community he, in, in his murals. He put a lot of the community in there. If you notice the, the, the young lady standing next to the man in the front, uh, that's his daughter. The other two, like the standing next to Che Guevara, are from uh, here. And even the gentleman that's standing next to his daughter are from here. And then you have two of the homeboys who's standing in the background and then the car. They're all community people here that he had taken uh, uh, pictures of or uh, for research. Miguel left us something that was very, very important, which a lot of people don't see, and that was art for the community. And a lot of the community, mainly in this local area, they do accept Miguel as an artist of the community. His friendship and myself were very close, and there is nothing negative that I can see. And Miguel deserves more, way more. He has contributed to this county, to the city, to the state, and to the arts. Something that no, a lot of other people wouldn't do. And yet he's not, he's recognized, but not enough. And Miguel needs to get recognized even more so. But otherwise, Miguel was, uh, one of the top-notch artists that uh, I could see contemporary artists of this decade, of this era period.